everybody, this is Jennifer with NorthwestStamper.com and I'm so excited that I finally have in my hot little hands here the Stampin' Trimmer. This is the paper trimmer that Stampin' Up! has recently come out with that we've been anticipating since the catalog has come came out in July but now they finally have finished all their testing and they have this trimmer. So I thought I would share with you my experience of my new trimmer. So when you get it, it comes in that packaging and you have a little instruction sheet, but eh, who needs instruction sheets, right? We're going to just figure it out as we go. So this is what the new trimmer looks like. Some of my favorite things that I was so excited about is the fact that you'll notice that this base is a lot wider. It's six and a quarter inches wide. So as opposed to the old styles, it stopped at about four and three quarters, and you know that that five and a half, between five and five and a half inches was always right on the line, and you could never figure out where things were. Now you can actually make your card base without having to open it up. Um, you'll notice that it says right here, uh, remove protective film from all surfaces before using. That's because they have put all of these lines and all these numbers that are on here are all uh, underneath a laminated top. And so they've put this protective covering to uh, make it so that that doesn't get damaged. Now I haven't tried peeling it up yet, but I can see that it may be a little bit hard to do, but we will, we'll see. Let me look here. The other thing that's kind of cool is that this here, it flips open out. Um, I don't know if you have the, have seen the old styles that flip this way towards your paper, but this makes it so much easier to actually line up and see I'm finding my numbers. So I can just slide it along the guides and I can see, um, Oh, hey, this is kind of cool. I guess I didn't notice this before. My numbers are mirrored on the bottom and along the top. So if I'm measuring something, I can slide it to five inches here. Or if I'm trying to put a piece of paper along here, I can see that this is going to be a quarter of an inch past my cutting groove here. So this opens up, which is great. And then if you're traveling, one of the cool features is it has a little lock that holds it in place so it won't flip open on you. Kind of cool. The other thing that I really liked about this, why I was very excited about it, is that you have a cutting blade, it's the dark blade, and you have a scoring blade, which is this light gray blade, uh, and that they actually sit all the way off your paper so that if you have a full 12 by 12 sheet of paper, you can slide it in here and you don't have to worry about these blades getting in the way. Um, my old trimmer that I had, you always had to kind of slide it around and really watch out. So these will permanently stay docked, both the scoring and the cutting, on my trimmer. And I can slide my paper in and out, which is kind of cool. The other things that are kind of neat, they have, um, let's see if I can get this zoomed in enough. Yep. That each of these numbers, I have, not only do I have it at the quarter inch, and the eighth of an inch, but I have sixteenth of an inch marks. So if you want really fine grain cutting, uh, you have that option in here. So that's kind of cool as well. Um, this here is where your arm is. And I will tell you, it's sort of hard to pull out at first. Um, and the other thing, you pull it out, it's going to be kind of stiff and you're going to think, oh, it's not doing anything. Keep going. <laughs> it'll, lock, it'll lock in place, same as when you want to pull it out. I think it's loosening over time, so the first time you get it, yours isn't broken. You just need to be a little um, firm with it, and it will open all the way out. Also, on the backhand side here, see, this is why you want to lock it, uh, is a little piece here that you can flip open, and that'll be a stand so that this will sit flush. So again, if you're trying to cut something that's longer, this is all the way flush along here as opposed to sort of guessing while this hangs out. Let's see if I can rotate it, you can see. So you can kind of sit flush in there. 
you see how they have just that little bit of dip right there. But otherwise, these are the same space. And when I'm holding it in my hand here, looks to be their little square grooved cutting track. Didn't realize this came in or out, but I guess now we all know, right? So let me put that back here. So apparently, this has a little slot, which is something that I'm actually grateful for. I was a little concerned that they weren't going to have a way for us to uh, replace this if it started to wear out. So it looks like this just sits nicely in here, a little bit of space. Oh, look at this. See, you're learning with me. They have a little finger hole so that if you need to pop it out to replace it, you can just stick your finger through. How handy is that? And it looks like it comes with grooves on two sides. So you can see the top and bottom, but not the sides. Not sure what the reason is for that, but um, maybe I'll find out and learn. So those are some cool features. Oh, the other feature that's pretty handy. So push, push towards here to latch it in place is on the back. There's a couple handy features too. So there's a couple features that I just thought were kind of a neat addition, so I wanted to share them with you. One is that they have um, six, no, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five non-stick feet to help keep your um, trimmer from sliding around if you're moving things around. But the really cool thing I like about is this uh, compartment. And what I didn't realize until uh, I got my trimmer or I saw the uh, video that showed me um, from the demonstrator site right before is it has compartments. And that's kind of cool. So it has two little latches here. They're kind of like the backs of your remotes where you sort of have to push them in and it flips open. And you have these different compartments that are the right size for your bone folders. They're good for um, extra cutting and scoring blades. Uh, you could put, you could fit a snail or a snail refill in here. Um, all kinds of things, really. So if you were going to a crop or something where you needed to take some supplies, you could stuff them in here and keep them out of the way. And you could actually see through to see what you had with you if you needed it. So I thought that was kind of a handy dandy feature. So I think that that's most of the great features. Oh. The other two things that I'll share is one is that this has a nice um, curved grip so you actually have somewhere that's comfortable to put your finger push down. I like that this is completely clear so you can actually see your paper instead of trying to guess. Um, and then I haven't tried it yet but supposedly these have an extra, these blades have an extra little lock which makes it a little bit harder for them to come off the track. So it is possible to pop them off, but not nearly as easy as the blades and I will have to figure this out. I don't know offhand. Um, whereas, which is good because whereas before the type that had the orange sliders You'd flip this open and they'd go flying off. Uh, <laughs> looks like not going to happen here. So that's cool. So that's some of the neat features. And if we want to just give it a go, let's try a quickie cut. See? You can see all the way through. And let's do, there's a quarter of an inch. So let's put do a quarter of an inch cut. So lay it down. Grab my slider. Goes. Wow. Smooth like butter. Oh, was that my? Nope, that was my cutting. But I didn't press hard enough. So, looks like you need to actually be a little bit firm, commit, and it will go. You can't just enjoy how nice and smooth and quiet it is. So let's try another cut. See if it goes any better this time. So there, down, hold it, push. Nope, still not. See, it's a learning experience. Okay. I have the groove. And this is my scoring blade. I can feel it. So, down. 
Aha. Okay. So the trick here. Um, I'm not pushing hard, but you definitely need to um, put some weight on it. You really, these blades aren't, um, ow, these blades are sharp, but they're not uh, deep. Let's see if I can show this to you. They're, see they're little small blades, but they're definitely sharp. They can, they can poke you for sure, um, as you probably just heard. But you need to make sure that you actually use pressure. No, I like how they can both be sitting here. I can push and it cuts great. So there's your tip for me. Make sure you have a little bit of pressure and if you want to score, probably the same thing. Push down and I have a nice score line like that. Oh, see? Told you, they can cut you. So, the blade is sharp. <laughs> it will cut your paper. It will also cut you too if you aren't careful. So, this is the new trimmer. I, uh, you'll see more projects and if you visit me at northweststamper.com I will make sure to keep you posted as I use it more on what I think. But as of right now, I'm pretty excited and I hope you are too. So if you have any questions, send me an email or leave me a comment or stop by northweststamper.com and I will see what I can do to get it answered. Thanks so much and have a great day.